In this video, I will show you how to fix FPS drops and stuttering in CS2. So let's jump straight into it. So in order to do this, as you can see, I'm on CS2 currently. Now, what you're going to want to do first is enable the developer console. So if you don't have that enabled, then what you're going to want to do is come up to the top left hand corner, click onto the gear icon to open up your settings. And at the top, you want to click on to game. From here, if you look a bit down the page, you can see enable developer console. So what you want to do is make sure this is selected to yes. If it's not, just click on the box, select yes, and then come back to your home screen. Now to actually open up the console, what you're going to want to do is on your keyboard under the escape key, there's going to be a key with like normally a picture of a squiggly line. If you press onto this, it's going to open up the console, which is going to look like this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly jump into a game and then I'm going to show you what you can do with the console to increase your FPS and help any issues with stuttering. So let's jump into the game and I'll be back in just a second. Okay guys, so as you can see, we're now in game. So what you're gonna to want to do is open up the developer console and you wanna put the following commands. The first one is cl underscore update rate. Then you wanna put space and you wanna put one, two, eight and press enter. And the next one you wanna put is cl underscore interp underscore ratio space one go ahead and press enter to apply those commands and you can come out of the console and you should already have a pretty good frame rate so as you can see the game is running a lot smoother compared to how it was on the menu screen there was quite a bit of stuttering on the main menu now another quick fix that you can do is if you actually press escape on your keyboard and what you want to do is come up to your settings then if you go into video and of course you've got your different or display modes and resolutions if you actually change your display mode to full screen windowed, apply the changes, and then what you want to do is switch back to normal full screen and apply the changes. So I'm just going to go do that now. And again, this is another quick fix that can actually help increase your lag and increase your frame rate. So that's actually a couple of fixes that you can do to fix any FPS drops and stuttering issues in TS2. I hope this tutorial did help you out today and if it did I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said I just want to take a minute to thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial and I will see you in the next video.